Hey everybody, welcome back to Death Road to Canada. Welcome back to Team Wrestling. What's going on? Can shooting practice. The group camps out in a uh, big field. The group eats a decent meal. They find a row of cans sitting in the wooden fence. Shoot the cans. We'll get the old farmer coming out. Increases our shooting. Very good, very good. Man in red long johns runs out into the field with a pitchfork. My cans, my precious antique cans. Oh look what you've done to him. Shakes his pitchfork and yells. Doesn't care, doesn't care. Joyce's morale is decreases. Ha ha. We went ha ha last time. Let's go do. Don't know if it makes a difference. At least our shooting increased. Very good. Ain't no zombie pinning down El Satan. Fair enough, El Satan. You do what you have to do. Weapon stealing bandits. As the group explores a campsite, they are ambushed by bandits. They brandish makeshift weapons. They demand all of your weapons. This is ludicrous. Not even bandits uh, will usually do this, as it's slow, but um, as it's a slow but sure death sentence. Fight the fucking bandits. Take the chance of the bandits. Um, everyone's hurt. The bandits' weapons are crude, but they're still dangerous. Balls. Hmm. That wasn't the best idea, perhaps, but you know what? It's fine. We'll get some medical supply soon. The group is driving down a long stretch of road. No threats on the horizon, but not much else of interest either. You have 13 food left. Okay, so people have said you should always visit the trade camps. Damn. You need to put this shit away. Um, I trust no one with a pipe bomb. So what are you doing? The group sees a man standing in an SUV. Do you have any spare gas? I'm running out. You could offer two cans of food for every 25 units of gas. Hmm. Let me explore the rest of these guys, but I think I might rob the man. Because fuck it, why not? Man and carry many swords. They clank around um, as he moves. Make the finest zombie slicing swords ever seen. Figured out how to make swords. Hmm. So some have found. Okay, fair enough. I don't want to rob weapons. Like if I'm going to rob anything, it has to be like food or something at least useful. Steal a pistol. I think that's a pistol for everyone then. Bit of fuel in the house, man. The sumo is fucking gnarly as fuck, ain't he? He, she, I'm not sure. No pain, no gain. Oh, medical supplies, wonderful. And a bit of spare food. I'd love to just roll a pipe bomb at them for shits and giggles. Rifle wield uh, women claim she used to train others in competitive shooting. Zombies are slow moving, targets really easy. I, I can't really afford to give up food because there's too many of us. Old man, uh, but fit man is matching grey sweatpants and thingies. Yes, yes, yes. Let's do the pose off. Hopefully this doesn't fuck it for us. Morale increases. Okay. Good. Pose off gives us the old morale. Right, I'm going to rob food man. Knocks the man over, grabs a sack of food, then runs. The other members are dragged into it. Um, morale increases. Yes, yes. Loyalty revealed. Forced to flee. That's fine. We stole some food. That gives us at least two good meals. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So we use the medical. How did? It, how many did it heal? Huge city conquered by undead. Uh, their only chance is braving the sewer system. Ah, oh, fuck. Current time nightfall. I think we have to all go in at this. Um, there's no rest for the wicked, I'm pretty sure. No, no rest. Okay. So I think what we do is... Do a shotgun for you. We have so many handguns. In fact, we have a lot of good weapons, really. The only man I trust with a pipe bomb is Big Tam. Let's um, remove the pipe bomb here. I'll give you a golf club if you want it, but I think I'm going to give... What am I doing? Myself the pipe bomb, just in case. Does the sumo wrestler really need a, a gun? Sumo with a shotgun? Why not? Well, here fucking goes nothing. Oh, wait, hold on. 
I definitely want to control by Tam, because if I don't, then someone's getting pipe bombed. We are going to use some ammo here. Um, I think it's largely unavoidable. So I've seen that um, the, the game's getting an update in terms of like what you can do to control your um, your party members, so you can actually give them more finite control, like um, or more finer control rather. You can give them control like follow, you know, attack, never attack, rest, you know, a bunch of stuff. So really, all we're doing here is we're just looking to get to the end of this. We're not looking to you know kill all the zombies. We just want to get out of here in a timely manner, alive, preferably. Oh, shit. Come on, lads. I'm leading the way. I'll shoot us through. 20 bullets left. That's fine. I think situations like this are where you keep your bullets for. Because there's no escape, really. Like, this is like, you know, fuck. We're starting to run low. One shot left. Right, I'm prepared for the well-timed pipe bomb. Good. Come on, my little ally friends. Um, okay, I think that was a damage there, so I'm on like a tiny sliver of health. No, I'm not. I'm still good. I'm not sure how many question marks I've had. I've had a few. Oh, fuck. Come on. Come on, lads. Oh, fuck. I mean, if they're not going to use the shotgun, then I might as well. Staying alive! Alright, this is like near the end. I'll tell you what though, having 40 is not that bad. This is still not the end. This goes on forever. Is everyone staying safe? Yeah, good, okay. I don't want to lose anyone in any silly circumstances, like when the AI decides to do a fucking suicide mission on its own. Where are those shotgun shells getting a bounce? Um, yeah, let's climb out. No reason to stay. Okay, we need some medical supplies as soon as possible. Lacks enough medical supplies. The group feels inspired um, after managing to survive that situation. They feel like they're getting the hang of this. Choose a reward for the group. Um, morale and one health healed, maybe? Yeah, well, in lieu of having any healing items, then I, I suppose getting the heals would be good. Time heals all wounds, especially zombie bites. Morale increases, morale increases, morale increases. Very good. So it gives us the full heal and a morale boost. I'll take it. I'll take it. Maybe not as good as getting the skill, but certainly it's fine to have. Oh, we still got plenty of bullets. At the end of the day, the group hides in a drafty old house. Some zombies roam around outside, and the doors of the house are barely on their hinges. Someone should barricade the house. Um, pick someone to secure it. Who should barricade the house? Is there, like, a stat for... I wonder what it would come under. Composure. Mechanical, probably? I have no idea who's got the better mechanical. Let's go with LL Satan. Why not? Uh, I've got a good feeling about him. Quickly reinforces the problem spots. They now seem very secure. Mechanical is revealed. Not the best mechanical, but certainly it worked at least. So we lose the food, but it's fine. We boarded up the house. We've got a good team here. Team wrestling seems to be, you know, going the right way. These roads are awful. Cars don't last very long. Yeah, our car's fucked. Find a street in a town that's uh, that has traps all over it. Pits with blankets put over the top. Snares everywhere. Spikes on barrels. Damn. 
I draw with an oblivious, uh, an obvious guillotine over it. An oblivious guillotine, huh? Um, <laughs> and these are just uh, the visible ones. Send a scout to explore for loot. Let's just drive away. Well, let's play it safe. I, I don't trust the traps. Anyone want to do a sing along? We should do a shut up along. Big time with the big, the big knowledge. Oh wait, we put his morale down. That's not good. The zombies in the city have stirred. They're already aggressive as the group arrives. Oh, fucking hell's bells. Moderate, irritated in late afternoon. Apartment with help banner or the sporting goods store. I think we go for the apartment with the help banner because we need medical supplies and shit. Anyone taking the day off? I think we save the pipe bomb for like a very, very special occasion. There's no way in hell you need that. You don't need that either. Let's do Dolores and, um, right, okay, so what we're gonna do? We're gonna do Dolores and El Satan, I think. And rest Big Tam and Joyce. No, do you know what? Let's send out Team team Wrestling. So Joyce, and then we'll do, I mean, Dolores will do El Satan, can be leader. Yes, yes, yes. So do we want any equipment on them? I mean, they're both wrestlers. They shouldn't really need equipment. Let's see your stats for a second. Strength. Yo, Joyce has mad strength, yo. Hmm. Let's try this. I want to see how they how they manage with just a hand to hand combat. So let's try this house first. The help sign. Yes. Wrestling. Pile drivers. Things. So let's close the doors behind us. Just for a bit of extra security. Body slam. See, they break through the doors. Like, the doors don't last very long. That's the reason why I wasn't closing them behind us in the first place. Bullets, yes. And the good thing about taking two wrestlers with us is, um, of course, that we have plenty of inventory space. Yeah, health's fine. Plenty of space in the inventory for goods and or services. More fuel. And if we wanted to, we could whip the combat rifle out, but... Not necessary. Man, we shred zombies like this. Throw them into each other and they're dead. Maybe a little too easy, perhaps. But it certainly is fun. I was going to say, is that a fucking cauldron? But it was a shower. <laughs> it's an old-fashioned shower. Should probably kill them as well so they don't follow us around. I wonder if if you level up the wrestler's strength, he gets more wrestling moves. That'd be pretty cool. Certainly. Man, I like Team Wrestling. I'm a big fan of their work. Oh, I missed this door? Oh, shit. Oh, I missed all these doors, actually. Yes. Oh, how much food do we have in general? Not a lot. 12. Fuck. Oh, who the fuck are you? Cheryl says he really wants to get out of this place. Yes, if we can follow you. Yeah, let him follow us around. Could be useful. Yes, yes. So hopefully he'll um, help us out a little. I don't like how he's walking about with that knife, though, eh? He might be a dodgy customer. Alright, so this is the, the full help me building is this. Is there anything above? No. And I'm pretty sure the buildings to the left were all, um, were all bad. Right, come on, boys. Come on, lads. I want to make sure we've not missed anything in terms of, like, there could be a good medical cache somewhere. Careful. Careful. See, this is more like it. Another house. Ah, uh, yes. There's plenty of stuff. Good. Another bullets. 
Do we not have any healing at all? No medical supplies whatsoever? Health still fine. I think having a quick glance at the health every so often is probably a good indicator of like, how long you can go on for. Like, if health starts to drop low, you're like, you know, get the fuck out of there kind of thing. Get the F out. Oh my god. But as soon as health starts to drop low, just fucking dip set and get out there. Then he hang around. Otherwise, it'll get too spicy for you. Oh, I've still got a zombie. I was going to see what, what, what's going on. Man, these guys are getting fucked on. You almost feel bad for the zombies. They don't stand a chance. Alright, so we gained at least a full day's meal from this trip. What else did we get? One gas. Plenty of bullets. Yeah, I'd say this is a decent venture. Could be worse. Could always be worse. More food. No, shotgun shells is fine. Right. I don't suppose there'll be any more buildings after this. But we can always check. Might as well pick up the wood as an extra weapon, just in case. Oh, there's one more building. Ooh. Oh, there's two more buildings. Oh, it's good. The dream. Hoping and praying for any medical. Hmm. Not quite any medical, but you know, we're getting there. What the fuck is this? It's a broom! Health still fine, yes, food. Or I can take the table. Yes. Ha ha ha! Alright, last building. I think having a slower and more methodical approach certainly helps. And a bit of button spam as well. Does you good. More bullets. Alright, it's time to leave. Time to get our asses out of here. Can I get up through the... I think there was fence there. No, there's not. Okay. Woo. Okay. Nice. I'd say that was a pretty decent venture. Shadow catches up with the group at a safe spot. He offers a reward. Thanks for saving him. Um, group medical training could be really good. Did it tell me much about him? No. Let's go for the training this time. The group gets all sorts of uh, secret medical tips. Bring in Shadow the parts. So, Joyce's medical is at least pretty good. I don't know about the rest of our guys, but... Certainly, we have the medical there. Our car's gonna run out of battery. The car- Oh, Not battery, I was gonna say fuel, but... Um, from use and abuse, it won't start up again. Who has decent mechanical? Punches the car? That'll hurt his hand, maybe? No, he's got good strength. Let's try the punch. Why not? He's a wrestler. Opens the car and starts punching. He just manages to break something in the car and some bones in his hand. Car abandoned. Morale decreased. Strength decreased. Fuck. <laughs> I knew... Oh, I had a feeling that wouldn't be the best idea, but I had to try it. Free meal! While walking along uh, the side of a large stream, Dolores notices some fish in the water. Um, tries to look, goes into the water and tries to catch some fish by hand. By some miracle, is able to catch a decent sized catfish. We get some food. Nice! Spots of uh, a bakery van that has broken down the side of the road. The van is irreparable. The bread is mouldy and inedible. But there's some sugary cakes that are still good. Right. <coughs> Pardon me. Part 
parked in the middle of the road. Rush over to discover the car looks suspiciously like the car they started their journey in. Takes the keys they get from the old car and stick it in the ignition. It starts. Here we go again. Okay. I don't understand. Did we just get the same car back? Or did the game just take pity on us? I'm not sure. Fire! The group goes against the judgment and camps in a city apartment because there's no zombies around. When they wake up, the building is on fire. Who leads the escape? Who has the best wits? I'm sure this is a job for someone with good wits. Oh, everyone's fucking witless. Who's got good composure? Right, Dolores ain't leading to anything. Hell Satan, come on. Tries to keep calm and observant. He keeps very calm. Ah, oh, fuck, we're all hurt. Composure is revealed as that. Uh, he goes the wrong way. The group gets burned. The group gets away. The group eats a decent meal. Fuck. Well, at least it wasn't that bad. It's like, you know, not the worst burns you could get. The car is running fine, but an error code shows up on the dashboard. The group has no idea what's wrong. Pull over to see what's up. Um... Let's have the inspection, why not? Checks the car for the problem. It was just a loose gas cap, easy to fix. Joyce's mechanical is revealed as that. So Joyce is now our new mechanical sumo wrestling compadre. The drive to Canada used to take a few days. At most, the apocalypse filled the roads with debris, hordes of zombies, and a lot of stranded cars. Now it's a long trip. The group runs into a trading camp. Let's visit the camp, see if we can rob someone. Ah, oh, balls. I don't think I can rob anyone with what we have. Hmm. Can I change the group? Alright, fair enough. Um, right, so, let's put the gun away, put the wood away. Ah, oh, fuck it, right, okay, so wood, so. Is there anything I can steal? What are you doing? Twitchy man selling homemade bombs? Hmm. Oh, Dolores can still rob the trader? Okay, good. So I guess we'll use Dolores to rob someone who's got decent stuff. Stain overalls, uh, better repairing stuff, it's real handy. Hmm. What about you? Maybe steal the bullets? Right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to spend six for training. And I'm going to give Joyce the training. Fight the barricades and other anti-zombie engineering. Smiley face for engineering. Anyone else got a smiley face for engineering? For mechanical? No. Okay, so Joyce is now our mechanical person. And we're going to rob bullet lady. Grabs a few boxes of bullets, then runs. The scavenger was laying, um, lying about not using firearms and sends some extra bullets towards the group. Oh no, Dolores is killed! The group is forced to flee the camp. Okay, at least Team Rasslin is still going strong, sort of. Oh no. We need medical supplies. So, so robbing everyone is not the best idea, you know. Oh no, mega cheesed. The group drives into a house and sees that the zombies were angry before they got there. Now nah, we're driving on. With our health this low, we can't afford to fuck around. Close to the museum. It must have been popular as the undead are out in droves. Signs and banners that say advertise Call of Guns Modern Gunfire 20 Exhibit. Uh, very thick cam at noon. Right, I'm going to go in solo on this one. This is, this is one for just... Big Sam, I think. Hmm. Let's just take one handgun. No, we'll take one shotgun. No, we'll take one handgun. I need as many bullets as I can. Right. I'll let the other two rest. Oh shit. Why am I stuck already? Right, that was a bad start. I like this song. I think going in with melee might have been the better idea. So that they weren't alerted to my presence. I have no idea what I'm looking for. 
Oh, this is what I'm looking for. What the fuck? Oh, I'm dead. I'm so dead. I just want to get out of here with a minigun. That's all I care about. Run, Tam. Run. In fact, this might be good for me, actually. They might have all went to one side. There should be an ammo cache somewhere, maybe. If I'm lucky. Fuck you all. Zombies. I'm not dying. I'm not dying with a minigun in my inventory. There's no fucking way. No way. No way, no how. I'm just leaving. Fuck it. Yes. Okay, okay, okay. So. We do need medical supplies. Tries to help with lack of medical supplies. That's fine. We do have a minigun, though. Finds a cabin in the woods with no zombies in sight. It has a wood stove um, in it. But no wood. Eats a decent meal. Um... I have no idea what going out and chopping wood would do. Let's try it. Who should do? It's really hard work. Who has the best strength of the group? Joyce. I'd hate for Joyce to die. Um, and gets the wood stove going before passing out from exhaustion. Be very tired tomorrow. The fire feels great. Attitude revealed. Morale increased. Okay, good. We're building it back up. Building it back up slowly but surely. So the car doesn't break down. We can only hope. We can only hope. I was scouting down a town um, and gets cornered by a large group of zombies while unarmed. He's trapped in an alley. At the end of the alley is a heavy, uh, heavy garbage and a large fence. Parkour abilities. Climb up the fence in time, avoiding being ripped apart. Whew. Close. Close one. Close one indeed. Fact it looked like it was busy um, before the apocalypse. It's less run down than most other factories, at least on the outside. Fuck it. I have to see what's going on inside it. Right, okay, so. The deal here is. I think we'll take. Yeah, you can take a piece of wood, I guess. Um So, I, I don't know if I want them to follow me, though. Like, both of them. I think keeping one back, just in case, because we're really low on health. But having the minigun... You know what? I'm feeling good about life. I just want to see what the minigun's like, to be honest. Oh, my God. Yes. Oh, my God. I'm so happy to have a minigun. I'm kind of nervous that these will explode. All this for a book? Piece of paper has stories and numbers on it that looks like a padlock and a safe combination. Perfect. Okay, so like a little bit of a quest almost. So we got a, a lockpick combination thing. Hopefully it's not like money, because we don't need money. Like money's the last thing we fucking need. Nail board. Could be useful. Is there anything I can do with these? No. Good. I'm glad he picks up the weapons. Oh my god. This looks kind of scary. Shooting going. Shoot them till they're dead. Is that a crowbar? Yes. Okay, we don't need to hit those. We know nothing ever comes out of them. At least I think nothing ever comes out of them. Is 
Ram. Oh no! Don't be stupid! See, that's not my fault. Like, that's not my fault. He went and he done that to himself. The uh, El Satan, oh, no. Man, so, right, I think from now on, when we're all low on health, I'm only taking me in because I can't trust them not to kill themselves. He got himself stuck in a situation that happened very quickly. See, I can't, I can't babysit these fuckers at all times. All that for a single medical supply. Oh my god. Is there anything on these shelves that I can pick up? I can't believe it. I, ca I can't believe you've done this. Please just show me where the thing is. I'm just expecting there to be like a big dirty safe. With um with loads of stuff in it. Try and loosen this little choke point up. There we go. Oh I'm up. Steady. Oh my god. Nope. Oh yes. Here's the safe. If this isn't the greatest venture ever. Please tell me it's good. Combination found along with some useless paper that had um, 80 gas, night sword, magnum and 20 bullets, boxes of... Oh, the night sword seems like it could be awesome. What do we need? We need gas. We need we need fuel. Unfortunately, I need to take the fuel. I'd love to have taken something about. Oh my god, is that a big med pack? No, it's just a regular. Right now, we try and get out of here without dying. Um, oh, and there's still more doors. Oh, more food. That's good. So we found like the fucking staff room. <laughs> Steady on, lads. Alright. So it's a shame, we, we lost a good man today. We will observe a moment of silence at the end of the video. <laughs> In memory of El Satan, one of the greatest wrestlers to ever grace this goddamn planet. It's a shame, it's sad. Makes you want to cry. But no, we must keep going, we must press on. Maybe I should have taken the Night Sword. Maybe I shouldn't have. Nah, I don't know. Playing it safe seems to be... The thing is, you can never win, though, because if I didn't play it safe, people were like, why didn't you take the gas? But then if I take the sword, you know, and then I don't take the sword, people were like, why didn't you take the sword? So you can't win, really. You have to just go with what your heart says. My heart says the gas is what we needed. Oh, my God. This is very bad. Yes. Yes! All the yeses. So we got some food, we got some fuel, a lot of fuel actually. Got some pistol ammo, it's fine. So yes, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, leave a comment, all the usual good stuff, and of course, I will see you next time.